What is going on guys? Season 5 is here and today we're going to be doing a brand new video on the ISO, the new submachine gun in the CDL playlist. Now, it's a little bit funny because I've been testing out a lot of different things. I've been using this gun for a while and I am... Um, I am rocking a red dot and you guys might be wondering why is app running a red dot as soon as I got that kill You probably noticed how easy that kill was, but this gun is very interesting oh. Nade central uh, the iron sight to this gun. It's very weird. I'm not really a fan of it So here I am um, rocking a red dot. I've been liking it, but uh, obviously it might change very soon. Oh my god two piece Three piece okay guys, okay all right, you guys understand now why I, I rocked the red dot? It's not its not for show, you know? No way, sniper nest gameplay? Okay. Okay, okay. This gun, oh my god. Is this gun gonna get banned from pro player? Are pro players gonna ban this gun? Oh my. No, right. no way, right? Oh my. Ow, oh, that hurt. Oh my. Oh my. He's one shot. After my gun, I'm gonna move. I'm not gonna lie guys, the Vector was sort of a letdown, but this gun is actually living to the hype. It's a very, very strong submachine gun. I feel like, it, yes, it really can compete with an MP5. Um, so what is it gonna happen in the pro player scene? Our pro player is gonna GA it. It has some beams to it. That guy's absolutely one shot. Oh, this guy close. What the heck, man? There's so much to talk about in today's video, especially with the new season and with this weapon. So I'm gonna do my best to try to talk about everything and show you guys also some dominant gameplay, except when I'm getting shot in the back. It's very annoying. So a lot of you guys know the meta has pretty much stayed the same uh, the past, like, two weeks or so. After all the craziness with the GAs and the, and the bands and the nerfs and everything. And here it is, a new season, rocking a really good gun. And I keep killing them, but they keep killing me. Damn. Alright, my team is not playing that well. These guys honestly might just be a pretty big party right here. I just, I am, oh my god. So before we continue on with this video, I know my mic quality is a lot different in this video. Maybe not as clear or as good. I am using my Astro mic versus my external mic. Uh, fortunately, uh, my dog broke my cable. She's got bored, decided to chew on my cable and broke it. No, teammate, why'd you back up? We're gonna get broken here. Never mind. Never mind, I have an ISO. I have, oh, you spawned here. Did you spawn? I got died. Okay, I thought he spawned on him. Alright, bringing it back. I made some good plays here. Dude, this thing... It's like a mini MP5. It beams, man. These guys are actually rotating. These guys are going so hard. Oh! Damn. Alright, we got spawns. This is really good. So I do apologize to all of you guys, man. I'm really sorry that, you know, hopefully in a couple days I'll get a new cable and everything will be back to normal. But, so deal with me for now. Oh, why is there a guy front? Oh my god. Dude, there's a guy front. I got another guy front. Oh my god, I'm flashed. It smoked out. Oh my god. So guys, the more I use the gun and the more I rock this gun, the more I'm starting to realize how good this gun really is. <laughs> this guy see fell off the map. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even think. <laughs> but this gun is actually really, really freaking good, man. And you guys know, like, especially with champs being so close, uh, pro players tend to GA. All the weapons and all the broken stuff. Oh, I feel like there's a good chance this weapon will not be allowed at champs because this thing is actually incredible. Like, I'm not trying to gas it because, oh, it's good for the video, gassing it for the video. No, this gun is actually freaking phenomenal, as you can see right there. Holy snap. Like, the vector was like kind of like a hit or miss. Like, it had its moments. Like, it was pretty good. But this gun is like actually like consistent the problem with the vector is like it, it was it can be so 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 deadly close up but then when it came to range like this gun has range look at that like when it came to range like right there with the vector i probably would have lost that and i have no ammo i really don't know what to do i guess i might as well if, if i go for gun like super deep i'm just gonna okay i got it all right guys as always don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave a like but as i was saying man this gun is just like well, pro players ban it. That's the true questions. Uh, that's a very big, important question. Uh, I really believe so, yes. And here's why. It's not only about the weapon. It's not like, oh my god, this gun is so good and all that stuff. That's not the biggest reason. 
Like that is uh that is part of the reason why it's a very good gun and you know sometimes stuff that are too overpowered and might maybe perform better than M4. Dude, this guy's pissing me off. I hate these head glitches with a sub. Absolute oh my run. god, help me, help me, help me, teammate, chow. Don't bait me. I'm not baiting for you. No, you're gonna chow out. There we go. You're chowing out. Don't bait me. But he, the biggest reasons why is we have champs in two weeks. The biggest tournament, the biggest esports tournament for Call of Duty of the year in two weeks. You know, the meta has stayed the same. Everyone's already been practicing with that meta. Everyone's used to it for the most part. Well, wow, this guy camp at the truck. Like it's what's everybody been practicing. All the pro players, man. And at this point, of, at this state of the game, at this point of the game. Like, a lot of people are just used to playing this meta. It's like, bro, it's just we have to put this in our own hands. If you change the meta this close to champs, all that practice and all that, you know, all that work, it essentially becomes, like, kind of, u not useless, I want to say useless, but it's very frustrating. And I think, you know, as uh, as pro players, like, we want to have the game to finish strong. The last two weeks, like, our last two weeks of practice for this game, we don't want to make some crazy, bro, it's been so crazy the past months. This past month with all these different weapons, all these nerfs, all these GAs, it's been so weird, man. And finally, like the past two weeks, we've had like kind of similar guns and we've been practicing with those. And now we're going to like switch it up again. You know what I mean? It's like, nah, man, we can't do that. All right, guys, 28 seconds left. Let me win this game real quick. I hate losing. But this gun is actually very fun to use. I'm playing against a whole bunch of ARs, have 41 kills. I am crushing them. Do my thing with the sub. Damn, bro. These guys are always top stone. They love that spot. Look at them. Look at them. I help you, teammate. I uh, beamed the wrong guy. It's not even the guy. Oh, oh, that was that was that was the enemy. I thought that guy that came through our side was my teammate. Oh my god, I'm so twisted. I told you I was making a play. I told you I was making a play, yo. I told you guys. You lose. You lose. GG's, GG's. 49 bomb. 49 bomb with the ISO. Hey, GG's, man. Good games. That was fun. That was fun. 49 26 with the ISO. That's solid. That's pretty solid. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got some Hackney Hardpoint next. And we are on the Coalition side, which is freaking awesome because I hate having the Allegiant sides. It's obviously you have such a favorable side on this map. Oh, I don't know where you guys think you're going. But not to my hill. Oh, no. I'm backing up. No, we're going to flip. We're gonna, we flipped. Um, I just actually lost four. No, I choked, man! Aimbot, he has aimbot. And don't get me wrong, guys, the more I use the gun, like I said, I think this gun is amazing. It's a, oh, what the, this guy's top D2. Oh my god. This guy, oh! This gun is truly amazing, man. It is a really good gun. I think it's one of the best submachine guns. Um, unfortunately, I think, I don't know. I think the MP5 is still really good. Oh, okay. This gun actually shreds up close, though. I will give it that. That's actually incredible how good that gun is up close. When I when I use the gun, and uh, the more I use it, you know, when I compare it to, like, an MP5, I think the MP5 slightly outclasses it, medium to long range. Um, like I said, this is just basically a, a better vector. That's all. It's really what it is. So, I do think this is a better, basically a better vector, and, but... Unfortunately, I don't think it competes with the MP5 right now. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Like I said, like I feel like up close, it can compete easily with the MP5. Medium range probably can as well. But then you go into that long range aspect. That's like, all right, MP5 can actually beam kids. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, like it's not as beam to it. Don't get me. Oh. Right, let's get MP5 because I'm running out of ammo. But I think we just go back to like the whole aspect of we got champs in two weeks. Pro players been playing this same game, the same meta, bro. I really about to change it all up again. So I think no matter how the gun is good or not, I think the um, I just think it'll probably be gone from the pro player aspect. Oh, he's up top. My bad. My bad. I'll get hill. I'll get hill. Have hill. Have hill. Help me, help, help. Ideal situation to get across here and get spawns, but unfortunately. All right, I got the guy watching it. Okay. Let's try to get out. Stay alive, block the spawn. My teammate, there we go. Oh my God, I'm just teaching so much right now. You guys gotta be impressed by these plays, right? 
I'm just teaching. Here, they have spawn, so let's just get hill time. I'm literally using FP5 because I ran out of ammo, bro. This is comedy. Can you guys get in the hill? Why Why is it me? Why do I have to get the hill, man? Like, I get... Oh. I'm good, right? Yeah, I'm good. There's also a good spot here, guys, to get information if you ever want to, like, kind of see their foot. So you can see here, too. I'm afraid they're going to jump. No, they're hitting our side. Hitting our side. All right, we got some ammo, baby. We got some ammo because we haven't died. We're about to go for a nuke. Oh my god, I was choking a bit. I was choking a bit. Dude, like, this gun still has beam power, man. Oh, he's in the corner. Yes! No! No! What was that, like, my 15th, 16th, 17th kill? I don't know. As much as it sucks, like, not sometimes, like, us pros not being able to use these DLC guns and not being able to have fun and, you know, with these new guns and the meta changing all the time, it's honestly very frustrating. Like, there's a lot of reason, like, reasoning behind it, but, like, on, on, and on honesty, honesty, like, man, I can't just, I can't wait for next year. Holy shit, bro. I can't wait for next year. This is a ISO. This is a ISO finish if I've ever seen one. ISO. 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 What a beast of a gun. Another 41 bomb. I had to get almost two minutes of hill time because my teammates don't like the hill. But it's all good, man. We did our thing. We dominated. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. But I honestly don't see these, these new guns being... In the league, unfortunately, we got the biggest tournament coming up, and it's very important to keep the meta the same because that's what we practice every day on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 4.0 almost on this gameplay. Don't forget to like the video. It helps me a ton, and it helps the video out a lot, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're slowly, slowly coming up to 200K. Can't wait to hit that one day. Okay, guys, before we end this video, got to go over the class real quick. This is the exact class I was running. The reason I don't run sleight of hand, even though I'm a big fan of sleight of hand, the ammo is just so little. 20 bullets helps you maybe get two kills max if you're lucky. Uh, the 50 round, I think it's too much. It slows you down a little bit too much. So I'm really comfortable with the 30 round mag there. Uh, the only thing different about this class you can do, do if you want a little bit more, um, I guess, either recoil control or if you want a little bit more, you know, ADS speed, you can take off the mini reflex and either put on um, FTAC or you can put on uh, attack form for the recoil, or you can just scrap that completely and put like muzzle brake or compensator for more recoil control. Uh, I really like the red dot because I'm just not a fan of the iron sight, but I was just having some fun with the red dot. You don't really have to use the red dot. Though the like three or four main attachments I think are really important are the, the FSS Revolution, the collapsible 30 round mag and the commando. I think these four are pretty essential. Uh, the last attachment you can kind of mess around whether you want a rear grip, keep the mini reflex, or you want to put a muzzle for some more recoil control. Like I said, as always, I do appreciate all the love in the videos and I do appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Pro player apathy. No, it's pro player apathy. Out.